In other words, like, if, if the person says, well, like, well, I, I don't want to be, like, tempted by power or this, that, or the other, it's like, what he doesn't get is, like, well, if you have the power to, like, draw an audience, but you haven't fixed any of the problems, you haven't, you haven't come up with solutions of how to disintegrate the states and deal with all of, like, the property right things practically in a series iteratively. In other words, you haven't made that, like, priority number one. And sunk that all into, or like made scripts and like turning all of the hypothetical ideas that you get in like funny moments and be like, well, if it's good, like, we gotta run and turn it into something. You haven't like quoted. It's like, if you're get, getting up to like a million followers and you've made the money, then like you should try to like, it would be less vicious for you to try to make like a, a billion or like a $2 billion project. But for, for me, it's like when I don't have the associates, it's like, if you and I became friends overnight and we started talking, there's no way you would lose audience is what I'm saying. It's like, you could only gain audience. Like, I get, like, some people incidentally, like, on my channel. But there wouldn't be people that would flee from talking to you, kind of. Because I have, like, all of this intel on stuff. But, like, I can't give all of it away. So it's like, I can't exactly, like, toot my own horn on it. But I look at it from the point of view of, like, well, I don't actually think he's motivated by vice, but it's, like, he is motivated by, like, lack of necessity, sort of. So it's potential that the guy could say, he's like, well, I've got, like, 773,000. It's, like, unless he had a reason to say... In other words, like, it's better from him from the point of view of, like, forestalling viciousness, but also maintaining a, um, like, membership... To say that, like, well, we're going to encourage that, like, we're going to, like, not accept, like, subscriptions after, like, 777,000. Because if we have 777,000 subscribers and we can figure out the mean between the videos that are being watched, we could be, like, overproducing. And we could come out with more official things where we would thank our subscribers, like, because they were numbered and, like, known. And people would feel, like, you know, we could raise the caliber of the content and make projects or whatever it's like if he thinks he's gonna lose money because he needs a new if he feels like secure then whatever but like you can actually like put it's like i have all these like great business ideas kind of it's just that i don't have anyone to talk to them about it's like you can feel like you're an associate with somebody because you spent time on the internet but like you're like well i can't exactly like respond or like do this thing but then by the time you produce it it's like well, in one mode of things, my production is, like, a little bit more, um, potent than his. Because if you have to go on every week or every day, make hour-long videos, you lose intellect. There's times where you reach definitive notions, and you're like, well, this shot would be the best. And then also there's things where, like, he stands, like, right up to the camera. It's like all his videos are, like, the same distance. So, like, if he was going to talk to me, we would both have to be on cell phones, like, walking around. It's like, to explore new ideas, it's like, well, it has to be valid for you to, like, look away from the camera in, like, different situations so that you can, like, pace and hear the thing in, like, an intimate studio. If you're going to be coming up with, like, if you're going to, like, plot different ideas, if the type of things that we're going to talk about would be, like, some, like, legal conspiratorial kind of... What I'm saying is you got to be a better dick about it. You have to, like, install motive into more things and assume that there are, like, agencies. And then eventually you're going to get evidence of that. Because it's like, if you're not, like, interested in, like... It's hard to imagine, like, I don't exactly want to produce, like, a whole lot more for you specifically. Although, like, I can't quote that I would or wouldn't. But it's like, the case of my life is interesting because it's like, well, we've got this guy who, like, knows a lot of things who's like a jack of all trades, who's like an out of work renaissance man, who like knows a lot about the marketplace, but it's like, normally it's like, well, if the guy doesn't have a job, he can't be like worth anything. But like, if you can like bring up the notions of like the conspiracies, or you can say it's like, well, how does somebody who has like hunches of the conspiracies validate them? And what research does he put into agencies? And can he get any evidence besides psychic phenomena of the registers? At what point does the evidence come in? It's like, it becomes, like, valid. Especially, it's, like, the way that it's stacked is, like, well, there's, like, the biological Adam stuff, and then the Deuteronomy stuff, and then there's a the prophecy and the prediction. But then right under that, there's this huge case on, like, mesmerism, where it's, like, well, no, like, we could let a lot out of the bag, kind of, about this, like, hypnosis stuff. And if you had me on, like, I, I could blow the lid off some of this because of, like, what, what has happened, like, culturally in the United States 
t like typically from like 2011, 2012, 2013 with regard to like the proliferation of like how mesmerism like goes in. So that I have proving knowledge on that. And like, you're going to want to know that because like right now there's like opinions that you have that are based on the notions of like rights and people going after their own desires, but there's confused notions as to like when the consensual sex could happen because you know that there's people that can just do the consensual sex and hurt a lot of people. So you could be benefited by a more moral stand in that regard where you're like, well, you love the person more when you're willing to get like married to the person. And, and it's tough for you because you don't have any evidence that like the gay marriage thing could have like long-term consequences. But if like we could be civil about it where it's like, well, that's like not good, but then like explore them the mode of like fornication or whatever. It's like, what I'm saying is if, like, we were actually friends, but we had differences. Then if we were able to walk around and have the conversations as if nobody was watching, you could be selective about airing them or whatever. It's like, you could like plan sort of to be like, well, it would be better publicity for you. It's like, I've met someone or whatever, and we're getting like a significantly new intel, and we're thinking that we're going to have to like change the format of this. But the nature of the format is that I'm going to be like walking around and doing a lot of other things. So what would actually happen is like because your income uh, stream is more secure, you could stream basically on your like 5G or whatever, and like have your coffee and like. You, you, you could go into the car and, like, play, have somebody hold it while you're in the car. Like, you, you could go, like, you could have the conversation for, like, an hour, like, anywhere. But for me, I tend to be, like, in my set because, like, I, I wouldn't have the Wi-Fi unless I was here. So I'd be grounded, but you'd have the liberty to, like, move around. And so by, like, focusing on that, it's, like, it could be really funny because it, it, it's like you'd have like people that would be like informants to you that would like plot in like locations that would be like high degrees of like privy knowledge. But then you'd have yourself who you could create a r routine where it's like you could get a better act. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, like I can stand, I can put my hand on my hip. Um, I can look left or right. I can look up or down. I can try to like look through myself in the viewfinder or look through the person in the viewfinder. But if the person's not looking at me, it's like I, I can observe what's going on. You can get nods subtly. I could like drink a coffee. Like I could not. It's like you could you could do like a lot of other things. It's like what I'm what I'm seeing. But again, it's like well, but the, I, I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It's like you have to think that he doesn't have any faith to watch the videos. It's like. Well, the reason is, is that you kind of want to make it a test. You kind of want to say, I just gave you all of this capital, like intellectual capital that you can't deny is there. These like great videos of like new perspectives that are like highly produced because it's like not just highly produced because like the pixel art camera is like impressive, like in this mode for some reason, but it's like I've done enough propositions in the camera that's like, well, no one's really doing that format. It's like true. It's like. And you could get me on. It's like, right. It's like, so I'd want, and then the huge articles and stuff, right? And then I have like these claims of like you being able to make movies as well as Intel on the interest rate, which you haven't touched. Yeah. It's like, so that should be enough for you to, for, for you to get in kind of. So if I don't see the views, I'm like, well, I tend to think it's like, well, what's wrong with like him or his, or like his staff? Like, why can't they like recognize? It's like, well, we get stuff all the time. It's like. Yeah, but you'd be able to recognize instantly by, like, the veracity of the proposition that that was, like, of higher caliber. And that you would watch the videos. So, like, why do I want to give you a video where, or, or give you info where it's like, well, technically, like, I've gotten, like, metaphys... Like, there's different... You're using metaphysical incorrect. It's like, you don't understand, like, psychic phenomena, okay? And the, how, like, the psychic inter... Tr mingles with the psyche and he gets downgraded to psychic and that there's, like animated in virtual realms and then there's like a baseline corporeal realms and that those are like good ways of dividing it up and that like you want to credit every thought that you have as an original thought but it's not true it's like if you can observe the mode in which you get thoughts they can come in like through directions anywhere in the epidermis but like certainly on the skull or whatever um but you're going to be more sensitive to it when you you have hair is the thing. It's like if you constantly like shave or whatever, it's like you might not get it. But also you're going to be more sensitive when you move around like different locations. But like you end up being like, in other words, like your face ends up becoming an idol 
is what it is. Because, like, in any instant where, like, there's not even, like, somewhat of, like, a faint... Okay, let's put it this way. If we're both walking around the areas and there tends to be common objects, there's relative scale between the two objects. Nobody would get scared if, like, your face was, like, a lot closer. But what you'll notice is that you've become habituated to, like, looking into your face like this. So you always, a person indexes through self-reflection off of, do I like this guy better or that guy better? And if you have um, these really, like, tough opinions against, like, pl whether Plato, it's like, well, I have to know Plato and Democritus, but, like, Democritus would be, like, somewhat better because he's, like, more materialistic. And I have to, like, ridicule somewhat the idealism, although with my new opinions on, like, religion somewhat and saying that the atheists can t t typically be, like, hypocrites, especially with regard to the state. It's like, I can sympathize with the idea of an idea. It's like, you have these really complex views about it. They're held in consideration. So, like, sometimes somebody who says, like, well, I've stopped hanging some things in consideration because some things have been definitive becomes an asset to you. Because, like, I, ideally, you'd like to settle some matters, but you need a particular quantity or substance of faith is, like, what it is. But what I'm saying is that, like, well, yeah, like, if your head was going to be, like, that big and, like, mine was that big, if we were both walking around areas because there would be common objects in, like, a, a mode of looking at things then the people would be able to maintain a relative scale, but, like, generally, you should stand further back from the camera, is what it is. Because people feel, like, dominated by your head. Even, um, he might not admit this, but from the point of view of an observer is all that matters, because that's what a consumer says. So if you have a consumer who's producing at high quality and, like, understands, like... The nature of these things, as well as, like, artifice and, like, accidental consequences, it's, like, what I'm saying is that, like, if, if Duke makes this, like, really good point, gets, like, animated, kind of, it's, like, well, the thing is, like, his locale is, like, more spacious. So whenever anybody has the ability to, like, manipulate, like, strata, and that he can, like, manipulate by, like, making, like, more light or less light in the area, it's, like, you should get leads off that. But you can't get leads off that if you're in, like, a whitewashed studio, if you're in, like, a whitewashed studio and your head is, like, an idol in front of the camera, then what happens is, like, he is in, like, a regular area and, like, it's, like, if there was, like, light that accompanied basically, like, testimony generally, okay, and then there were, like, also thresholds where you can manipulate light at, like, higher degrees, you could somewhat not exactly judge books by their cover, but, like, environments, like, by their cover, but, like, not quite in the way that you're thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, an area that might have some cobwebs or, like, some particles of, like, dirt that were interspersed could be appropriate if the thing was a, um, a basement or something. But it's, like, you have to have, like, better eyes to, like, see the context of it. Like, you're not going to get it, kind of. You should want to do it. You should want to say that, like, just because I have, like, no views or whatever, and I seem to be, like, coming across as, like, really aggressive and competitive... I'm actually doing it for your benefit. It's like, well, incidentally, like, you'll always be able to gain. It's more impressive for you to, even if there was, like, it's more impressive for you to get up to 777,000 followers or to, like, gross a movie of billions or to, like, take advice from me, even though I have, like, none. It's like the spread might be that I get, like, one or two people that follow me and you get, like, thousands. So, like, you're still going to make the margin, there's no way that, like, you always benefit from the intel that I give you more than me as long as you give the time of day. But the other thing is, like I said, you don't understand the metaphysical thing because you haven't done it as an investigation. You haven't said that, like, well, I've gotten an income and, like, the income, I, I went off a lead. Like, I exhibited faith by going off a lead because, like, I could quote that there was, like, a psychic thing that, like, intercepted my normal thought. And it didn't correspond with my regular voice. But rather than brushing it off or thinking it was a construct of my imagination, I tested them out. And you tested them out with different degrees of success. So then you build investigations where you're saying, it's like, well, surely there, like, actually are entities. Because at least they could exist as compounds of brain waves And they could be collective. But then they could be directed because individuals would have higher capacities. Like, well, how could you ever quote something? It's like, well, the instant that they break up all the binaural beats and you have somebody who's listened to, like, all of this. It's like, you got to know, like, the psychic thing. But then what you got to know is that, like, no, like, there, there's infallible criteria of metaphysical proof with regard to lighted phenomena as well as, like, 
sound phenomena, but particularly lighted phenomena in testimony. But they're just rare, but doesn't mean that they don't exist, but they can be caught on film. So if I've accidentally caught one on film or something, don't you get? It's like, I have like an infallible proof basically that the God of Israel is a real entity because he came in to verify the testimony through lighting my face up in flames. Is what it is. It's like, it doesn't normally happen. In fact, the, the, the fact that, like, I wasn't trying to, I had, like, given up on, like, trying to produce the phenomena, it's, like, makes me more credible. Like, I had produced a lot of different phenomena that, like, didn't get released because I was trying to pitch, like, movies for, like, a Green Lantern thing. But then when I exhausted all the possibilities of that, and I was saying, it's like, well, I'm just going to, like, move in. I'm going to, like, read more of the Bible, do this. Saturday. I had no expectation that I was going to get any sort of, like, blessing it's completely accidental. And then when I like had to drop something based on privy knowledge through observation of phenomena, which I could quote, having been a producer myself, regarding Metallica and the ability to manipulate fire at junctures, I ended up knowing that they were able to actually like command that and it wasn't there was aspects of the thing that weren't CGI, but they were phenomenal. But I didn't know anybody that was a big enough metalhead or whatever to get it. And then the footage ended up not they didn't like no, nobody was able to describe it. So then when I get this like funny idea that's like, well, potentially somebody could do like a resurrection mask because it's like there's all these evil things. And then I say something about like putting your money where your mouth is. Okay. And then it, it ends up happening after this like huge conversation of like mercury and all this other stuff. It's like, well, it's because I was testifying about Israel or whatever. So what it means is like, it doesn't matter that like, if you can get something like that on film once and it wasn't your intention, it tends to add your faith in a way. But the thing is, it's like, I get frustrated because it's like, it doesn't seem like you're trying to procure them. It's like, if you actually said like, well, we're going to go out and try to procure the things, we're going to try to prove that the phenomena exists. It's like, you're not a good enough dick is the thing. And furthermore, they actually have proved that the entities exist because they have binocular telescopes. Like, oh yeah, when I was five, it seemed like it made sense that they could have a binocular telescope to like m mimic what was going on or whatever. But it's like, I certainly didn't have the capital or whatever to procure that. And then for a long time, it's like, well, you could have a camera that had to, like, didn't do it. There wasn't a demand, but it's like, well, but they have a thing that's nicknamed Lucifer that the Catholic church has. And it's like, they found like actual scientific evidence of it. It's not gobbledygook is what it is. It's like there are entities that they've found and they have like pictures of them. Now they look different than people have like thought, but there's like all this evidence on it. And then there's just the psychological case of like, well, when like colloquial entities can like be known and like they can be constructs which are valid um, when you're figuring out a case and people can be like in agencies inadvertently based on shared values so that when there's like deceptive sp spirits in the main and there's like rebranding of things, if you're joking about like ball or something and then I end up like going into the text and reading ball and you understand like when ball was a big deal because there was this like showdown basically because there was this prophetess who was Jezebel and they had a challenge and in the challenge the God of Israel kicked ball's ass and furthermore, that, like, they didn't, like, kind of give up, and they created this, like, crazy myth that, like, every seven years there was going to be this thing with, like, ball, and then they, like, moved it over to this area in, like, Palmyra, and, like, the Middle East or whatever, or, like, in that area, and then it's, like, it ends up getting transmuted into, like, Zeus, you end up knowing that it's, like, well, yeah, this rebranded this stuff, that it's, like, Beelzebub, and, like, ball, and, like, Satan, they all exist. They're real entities is what it is. So if you have somebody who's like been plagued by like actual phenomena and it wasn't caught on film, but it's like he can explain it in like perfect English or whatever. Well, that should suffice. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, you don't get it. Like you're saying that like, I don't believe in God because I haven't gotten the manifestations. But what you don't get is like when you open the door to manifestations, they could be from anywhere. You're not nuts. Most people, it's like, if they get the pretty manifestations, they're in bed with the devil, so they have no reason to want to film them, is what it is. And also, any being which itself is invisible that can choose to come in and out of visibility in an area of complete doubt, it's like, it's proper to install motive in them and say, it's like, well, they don't have an interest in doing it. I would rather, like, lead you astray, kind of, 
That's what, how an evil person thinks. It's like, well, you know how Hitler thinks? These other evil people think. It's like, how would it invisible that? What would you do if you were invisible and you could choose to like not come in? It's like you would lead people astray, kind of. In one way of looking at it. If you were protonic, there'd be reasons where it's like, well, like w w w they're not ready for it yet. And it's not bull crap. But certainly if you're negatic, there would be. Where it's like, well, if they're willing to do all these like, crazy things and take credit, like, why should we like appear on film and like stop them? It's like, you want to say that they don't exist. But then the instant that you have to quote based on means of like <laughs> empirical knowledge, which is like new, which drops based on the Lucifer telescope, the general procedure, okay, of like what anyone does when they're investigating entity um, and motive and agency in like large bodies and trying to isolate like a perpetrator or like an object of cause to lead an investigation or anybody who's actually gotten it so that like once I've gotten on film it's like well yeah like I have footage or whatever that like nobody in the world has apparently but somehow like I I, I need to like advertise it it's like I only want to advertise it if like you're willing to talk to if you're willing to talk to me and realize it's like would you realize that because I have this evidence now and that, like, I've, I've gotten it that, like, more people are going to get evidence of it. So, the way I look at it is, like, it could be beneficial. Like, you should be able to move out of neutrality on this. If you had the full case or the full... I'm actually looking at it, like, from the benefit of your soul in a way that, like, some of these Christians or whatever, like, don't have the capacity to do. Not only can I relate to you on an intellectual level and, like, match you, like, point for point... There are some things which, like, I, I'm, I'm not going to be, like, aggressive and try to, like, change your mind on. But it's, like, there are some things that, like, I could just, like, somewhat, like, tear apart. Because it's, like, well, you're going to get, like, the same results because, like, you're doing, like, the same thing. You have to, like, do a different thing or whatever. But I'm also looking at it and saying, it's, like, but no, from the significance of, like, humankind... When there's like this criteria that they're only real if they come on film, but then you actually get phenomena that comes on film that's correlated to testimony. It's like what you say is if the grade of testimony is high enough, then there'll be something in the environment that can convey and add credence since any testimony manipulates the strata or whatever. But then th there's also a tendency where the mind can like annihilate data or whatever if it's like too close to a screen or if the resolution is, like, too high, because there are instances where, like, this is just so. There are instances where, be, let's put it this way. Like, there are instances where the camera can see things better than the human eye can see. So when something breaks the light threshold, it can be, like, somewhat exaggerated, but still happens in a camera with lower resolution. But then there's times where, like, they match or whatever, but if it's so subtle because it's like the thresholds of thinking getting like lit or not lit, if you, you don't want to credit and say that like one of the like selective like psychic energy or like attention or inattention toward a light bulb can like create things. It's like you want to see it every time kind of. It's like the, the, the type of testimony that revolves on reference or whatever isn't as high caliber. But when like something gets out and the person like somewhat thaws out, it gets like a little bit more heated or whatever if it's inadvertent then it's there. So it's like, if I, I've got something that's like definitive that these other people can't have, none of the people who are like worshiping Satan or Lucifer in jest or in real have like come out with videos of like him on film. And then like none of the religious people have evidence around their body that they could be transfigured or have like a spirit. Like you're talking about like a spirit or whatever, but like you need to like understand like degrees of the spirit being like more or less energized so you have somebody who's like on the Mount of Transfiguration or like Moses. So like if Moses sees the Lord and like the Lord is like full of like light, like when his face shines with light, he's not going to be able to notice it. But the other people are going to be able to notice it, right? So if your face transfigured or whatever in an instant, you could only catch it in a camera for the reason that it's like if it happened in real life when the light went out, it's like you would be looking that direction. If there was an audience member, they would see it. But then the processor of this is sufficient to convey another observer so that if like it happens and then you look at yourself in that instance, you get to see from the point of view of the camera what the observer would see of the face. But absent that, you wouldn't have a mirror to see it, right? It's like, but it's there. So there's evidence of it. It's like people's faces can be like transfigured and like caught on film, with regard to testimony, which means God does come in from time to time. 
but there are actual like blocks and like reasons why it's like more or less difficult for it to happen. But you have to know more about the computers and like more about like optics with regard to digital criterion. But you don't, you've never studied any of that is what it is. So it's like, it's usually frustrating. You know, it's like, it's really frustrating. Like for you.